Hey, welcome to Mainland Cycle Center's pre-owned vehicle department. Today I want to show you a pre-owned 2007 Kawasaki Mule 3010 4x4. These have a 620cc V-twin liquid cooled motor. Uh, it's a very high torque, low RPM motor. So really made for lots of pulling power. Uh, just a really good utility machine. Has selectable two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. You can lock and unlock the rear differential. You know, the mules have a great reputation as being very solid, uh, reliable, heavy-duty units. Uh, very. Uh, this is more of a utility-oriented machine as opposed to a sport or a recreational type machine. So if you've got some work to do, this is the one you want because it'll do it. Big bed, these are rated 800 pounds in the bed. It has a tilting bed. You can, it's got a little latch right here. Undo this latch and then pick up the handle here. And that'll tilt your bed. So you can dump that bed. Uh, there's your motor, 620 cc again, uh, V-twin. These are carbureted. The newer Mule 4010s are fuel injected, but the 3010s were carbureted. This one runs really well. We went through the carburetor on it. It doesn't. This Mule's really low hours. I'm going to show you the hour meter in a minute. It's only got 96 hours on it. But this one's in really nice shape. It's been used some, but uh, it's not definitely not been abused, and it's really in, in quite good shape for uh, for a 2007 model. One of the cool things about the mules I'll show you here is right up here on this cage, right here is your air intake, and this is a snorkel air intake. So Kawasaki intakes the air right up here. The air comes down this tube, or sucked in through this tube, and then you can see there's a hose connected here, and then this goes over, there's a filter in here. Now this one is for the torque converter. There's the torque converter, that's your transmission. And this is a belt drive torque converter. Well, we circulate air through that torque converter to keep it cool. So it has an intake here and it has an exhaust right here. It's a little pipe. Uh, but not only do we circulate air through there to keep it cool, but we filter the air we circulate through there. And then the air we intake, we snorkel up high to get a cleaner air. There's less dust up high. And so the same thing on the other side, there's a hose going over and that goes to the air intake on the motor. So the air intake side also intakes over there for the engine. So one of the things that really adds to the life of these motors and torque converters in a real dusty environment. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let's take a look at uh, that. You can see the floorboards real clean. Uh, you know, again, there's somewhere because it's been used a little bit. Here's your parking brake. The seat's real nice, no cuts or tears. There's your our hour meter with uh, 96 hours on it. These have high, low, and reverse. There, two wheel drive and four wheel drive. You just pull, move it down to put it in four wheel drive. On these, we recommend that you only use the four wheel drive when you need four wheel drive. I mean, if you've got good traction, you don't need four wheel drive. And this is the 12 volt power outlet, uh, parking brake warning light, temperature warning light, a little glove box there. Uh, it's your choke for cold starting, your headlights, and then right here we've got differential lock and unlock. And that locks and unlocks the rear end, I meaning with the rear end unlocked, basically you've got one wheel driving in the back. So if you're using it on a hard surface, such as here on our parking lot, you won't tear the tires up as you turn. If you use it in your yard or on a golf course, uh, you won't tear the grass up. But if you need more traction, you just lock it in, and then that rear end is fully locked. There's no slippage between those tires. And um, you can run it locked all the time. It won't hurt the mule at all, other than it may wear out the tires a little quicker if you're on hard surface. So, uh, great feature there that you can save those tires and save your surface, depending on what you're driving. It has a horn there. Uh, and this is switch here. It's got a gas pedal, a brake pedal. These carbureted bikes run pretty good. They are a tad cold natured and they 
they require just a little bit of warm up time but this one does real good I don't know if you can they're very quiet when they're running so it's just sitting here idling now but uh, they do really well and again this was low hours and runs real good Uh, this little button here will let you open the front storage compartment. So you've got a little front storage compartment there. Nice coolant reservoir here. These are liquid cooled. It has a radiator. This is where you check your coolant level. Uh, the, the, I always like the 30 tins because they have this nice little kind of grill guard on the front. You can mount a winch in there. The tires are in real good shape on this. These are the original tires, 23 inch tall Dunlop tires. Here's your fuel tank. There. Uh, it does have seat belts. There's your seat belts. There. Uh, oil fill, and you can check your engine oil right here. So if you had stuff in the bed, you don't have to tilt the bed to uh, check the engine oil. You can check it right here underneath the seat. Over there, you got some fuses and relays. And that kind of stuff. Here's that air filter for the motor. Here, as you see, this pipe connects to this tube. It goes up to that snorkel we talked about. And then there's your filter for your motor. There, and then these have this little restriction gauge on it that tells you when that filter has uh, too much restriction, it's time to be serviced. You've got a little float type gauge there in the top of the tank. Uh, there's a little deal that tells you that this is a 2007 model. There. Anyway, this one's in great shape and uh, it's going to be priced real fair, I think. And so, just going to be a really good deal for somebody for a nice, clean Mule 3010 4x4 with the big motor. All right. We are Mainland Cycle Center and we're located about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston, just off of I 45 in Lamarck, Texas. Our website is MainlandCycleCenter.com. Our phone number is 409-948-4969. You know, we just love it if you give us a call, shoot us an email. Even better, come by and see us. Uh, if you'd like to come by and take a ride on this mule, we'd be happy to uh, allow you to do that. But uh, come by and see us. Let us know how we can help. Thanks for watching our video.